because in as much as you like whoever it is that is in the picture right now, it's too fast. Can't you see? Yeah. And yesterday, I, I don't know, but I mentioned that she knows, like she knows what she's doing. The girl says she knows what she's no, doing. No, like I'm just saying that it looks like she knows what she's doing. Because the process is like... All of a sudden. There's no proper communication, like there's no... Oh. She hasn't told Tessie anything. The girl? No. They've, they've spoken, but I don't know. I went to the kitchen when they were talking. I feel like the conversation we were having, she, he was questioning her. It looks like he's trying to like blame her. So it looks like she's at fault. Do you understand? But don't you think age two is part of what is happening? I don't understand. How old is Javis? Since the uh, How old is Tessie? Thirty two or thirty three. So if the person is not reciprocating that energy you feel you are given. Because that's what I heard. Yeah, they're saying that CJ Chris has been complaining of the fact that he he feels like he's giving, but he's not receiving. They mean to say I'm giving, I'm not receiving. That's the thing. I mean, it's okay to feel that way, because me sometimes I also feel like I'm giving, but I'm not receiving. Do you understand? It's, but you need to talk about it. And apparently he has spoken about it for a while, and there's no change. It's like, it's the same. And it would be okay if it was the other way around. I feel like it would make more sense if it is just giving in and the boy not minding. You understand? But I don't know. I don't know what the situation is. Oh. Really, like for real, for real. I don't know. We'll let enemies get us. Enemies that they have gotten us. And I feel like we shouldn't even mind the girl. She's getting too comfortable. You understand? You it's like she's taking the boy and she's taking the boy's friends with her. And Tessie is alone. She was I, me. I asked, I'll be very mad. I asked um, Jason. Um, I asked Jason um, what were they talking about in the washroom. He didn't mind me, and he was like, "Oh, um, Jacob was even there." So I was like, "I, I only saw a girl entering. For some time, you entered. You guys stayed there for for a long time, but." When you came out and she came, I didn't see anybody because I was on my bed. So whether Jacob was part or whatever, I don't know. But I got a complaint that um, you are talking to the girl downstairs, so I should go there. If Fia and the others came, like, darling, you are sleeping. Uh, and Jason is talking to... So I was like, if you think I don't have problems, I should go and do it. That is what I told them. So when he came, I asked him, was like, the girl said when she entered, she has seen some brotherhood or something and then she wants to join so is she permitted to join so i was like so what did you tell her and, she, and he said he said no he can't join or something like she can't join or something so I was like is that all the conversation you guys yeah, she has seen a brother understand she has seen a brother she has seen the three of them mm -hmm. and she wants and to join their group join and that, that means she's going to be friends with us what's that mean supposed to mean mm. and, and i don't think they said, said no to her sure and Jason said, he said no. I was like, okay. Me, I'm trusting you and going to stand by you in everything. Because I'm not going to leave you to anybody that will come in so easily to come take you because we've, we, we've, we've started something, we are growing something, and definitely we have to get a good seed out of it. So I'm not going to leave it like that. It was kind of laughing, but I didn't mind. So it was late, cry, like about an hour, and then, like, I wasn't able to sleep. So, an hour getting to two, I saw Jacob's hand around the girl's waist, and the girl too, and no, the girl's waist, the girl's hand around Jacob's waist, and on the shoulder, on the shoulder, on the shoulder, yeah, and then they were coming. And then, the kind of name that she was wearing, did you see it? Doesn't want to up. Ah, the shorts. And she was wearing beads, and the beads has her, her bottles inside too. So all her hair is there, is there. all her hair too is there. And then, was, and it looks like last night they didn't sleep, because I saw her son every time. And last night it was a very long night. So every time like I wake up to check if and it's then morning, was, and then she, they are there. I think she wanted to sleep with him on the bed or something, but she just realized maybe 
divorce Tessie was if he had, if he had said no, if he had told them not to live together, because it would be very disrespectful to Tessie. That's what I'm saying. It's just too I, fast. I, I, I was, uh, me, I was sleeping with Jason. Mm. So I was supposed to go and lie in my, my bed. But because my bed was empty, she came to lie down. And then she could, uh, where I was sleeping, she, like they could see I was looking at them. So I think she whispered something into Jason's ears. And then Jason was like, like she, he would like to talk to me. So I was like, I'll watch right now. I was like, no, later. I'm going to give you a head pick or something. And then we had that conversation already. I'm coming. And then the girl was lying down and she's like, she can't sleep because of the lie whatsoever. And they went out again. And she came to bring some scarf and she used it to cover her head. So I was entering the washroom. And then they just held my, my hand and was like, um, I shouldn't let anybody get to know of what just happened in my eyes. So, hmm. Doesn't that, mean they had sex. That time, Tessie was not on her bed. So I don't know where Tessie was at that time. So it was later I saw Tessie in her blue-black morning coat coming to lie on the bed. And then JP's too was lying on the bed. And then from my direction, from where my bed is to where, like, the girl was just looking at the guy. They were just doing that. And then Tessie came to sit on the bed, held JP's hand. And I think she told him to come lie down with her in a bed or something. And then, but you see, those times, like when they sleep together, he kind of hold them. Mm. One face was like this, the other face was like this. Then he was just looking at the girl. So I was just looking at him. He was just looking at, he was also looking at him, so I was like, hmm. So every small thing I do, every small thing I would do, the girl was like, she would like to have a word with me. I was like, I'm sure I'm not interested. And after now, I've not listened. This morning, he saw me cramming Jason in the washroom, and then he wanted to. Say, she wanted to say that thing so that maybe Jason would be like, "I should go and listen." Mm. So he was like, um, "I would like to have a word with you." So we said it again. She said it again, and I like I was just. You know, you mind it. I was just brushing my teeth. I didn't mind it. But doesn't mean he has sex last night. I don't know. That but for him to say, he, he thinks he saw. Of course. And so you saw. I didn't see. Oh, you saw. Oh my God. I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything. Interesting. I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything. So I was like, okay. So I wanted to tell Jason, but I was like, who? These people, they are three. What if he knows what is going on and doesn't want to tell me? I feel me? like they all know. Let me, me, me now. I can't be the one person inside this thing now. La la you. So you see, when they is going to. Keep long inside the washroom. I came to housemates. Big mama. Rosie and Darlene. Big mama. Can you move to the kitchen? Yes. It's nice itching. <coughs> So, I don't know. I think that's from the TV. Uh, uh, all of us are just asking.